You know what it's all about? It's all about that good life. So, I know I look silly in my little inner tube, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to give some suggestions for the people that want to do this uh, whole hunting and fishing thing and their significant other is not so excited about it. So, number one, uh, I can just give you some suggestions that's worked for me. Number one, um, I got a gun safe, which kind of was like, hang on. I'm coming back to you. There we go. So number one is a gun safe. Uh, I was very shocked. Uh, my wife did not want any guns in the house. And I bought a gun safe and it seemed to ease that anxiety. So I'm like, okay, great. So gun safe, uh, keeping the guns away from kids uh, or just, you know, having that safety factor. Number two is communication. So when you plan all these hunting and fishing trips, you need to communicate with your significant other. So what I do is I get a calendar, and especially in the fall, because that's when all the hunting uh, is, uh, you know, between September and September, October, or, and November, the big three months for a uh, different game. So I have a calendar that we use, and then also, fellas this would be for the fellas with the wives or significant others um when you're going on a hunting or fishing trip then you know suggest that she goes out with the ladies maybe not the vegas okay i'm back uh, so maybe not the Vegas, but you know, Napa Valley or just a weekend with the ladies, whatever. So, you know, if you're getting this fun hunting, uh, hunting and fishing, I suggest that, you know, you reciprocate that fun with her friends, her and her friends. And number three, what I've done is, uh, so first of all, if your wife uh, if your significant other is uh, someone who's really into all this, congratulations. I'm not talking to you. I'm referring to people that the significant other is very reluctant to have you do this for various reasons. Um, so the third thing is when I um, kill or catch something, I, ha I uh, involve her. Now this might sound bad. <laughs> This might sound bad. I have I have Kathleen cook it, but you have to understand she's a phenomenal cook and it gets her involved with the whole process. So number three is whether or not she's out or he's out with you doing this stuff, um, get them involved. For instance, I know Kathleen loves crab, so I took her crabbing. Um, and on this lake, Lake Tufer, uh, I will bring her up here. She, she loves paddleboarding. Can you imagine this drop, uh, you know, this scenery? So uh, next week we're going to come up here and she's going to paddleboard while I fish. So uh, whether or not, just because they don't like hunting and fishing doesn't mean you can't get them involved. So that's my suggestion. Woohoo! Peace out. Doug Life. Well, I had a great fishing weekend. Uh, I gotta tell you a couple funny stories. So before I, the first time I'm coming down these rocks and I have my pole in my hand, here's a lesson uh, for, for people that aren't experienced fishermen. 
don't put too many things in your hands. So you're balancing, balancing. And I put, I had my rod here and it snapped off. So I actually caught six fish. And all I did was I trolled a rod. Trolling means you're just moving with the hook in the water. And <laughs> I caught six fish trolling with my fly rod. Uh, and number two, uh, this thing I put in the water. Next thing I know, it's floating halfway across the lake. This morning, I had to swim after it. Of course, taking all this off. But um, Lake Twofer, this is my lake, is amazing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Anyways, peace. All right, I'm on an epic fishing epic uh, weekend, and I thought I would do a little. Uh, my wife says she does not want a shout out. Okay, but I'm going to do uh, something for the for um, I I'm going to do something for people that want to do this and they're having a little bit of issue convincing their significant others. Good idea. Hang on. Hang on. Gotta get, gotta get a little motion here. My hula hoop. Gotta get my hula hoop. Uh oh. Work it, girl. Work it, girl. Okay. Hang on, I gotta catch my breath after that one. Oh. These things can only go backwards. All right. I think I just tore my hamstring. Okay. <laughs>